Okay, guys, good morning, good morning. It is now Wednesday, 17th. And yesterday didn't really do much. So we had a power speech at six, uh, 1800, sorry. So it was here. Hasn't moved that much at all. We did have a very bearish day the day before. So Monday was super bearish. Tuesday, indecision. More than likely today is going to drop. Probably go down to one seven four hundred something like that. So we're looking for something kind of like this today. Bearish engulfing candle does make sense. We've broken this level. We've had this consolidation. Bearish indecision. Next day is bearish, and then we'll see pin bars for a exhaustion, and then the continued move to the downside. So we are looking for sales. Potentially, 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 potentially. Going to see some kind of move to the upside. Then we'll see the sell. I don't believe now that we're going to touch this level here. I believe that we're probably going to see some kind of sell here. We can maybe go to this level here. Just keep it open. All day until the daily close. That will be what I'm going to be looking for today. So do we have a level of sell pressure there? Yes, we do. If we zoom out, there is a level here. So that's a four-hour level. Oops. Oh, that's why. That is why. There we go. Not a super high impact level, but still. Potentially going to see sell pressure there. So we have this level. More than likely going to move to the downside as we broke this consolidation. If we zoom out again, we can clearly see this consolidation here. Broken. More than likely going to continue moving to the downside. And again, more than likely going to be quite a good day on this. So... Keep an eye out for this one. Should be decent later on on the live session. US 30, again, looking for a sell. We didn't really see anything yesterday. The previous day was super bearish. Today, more than like, more than likely going to be bearish again. I don't think that we're going to move up. I think that if we just break this level here, we can definitely move to the downside. Risk reward is going to be a little bit less. Two to one. Looks very decent on the one hour if we zoom out. Really good on the one hour, to be fair. Trending nicely to the downside, so is US 100. These two are more likely going to give us a decent trade later on today. Gold now. So if we take a look at gold, yeah, it did bounce here. I know that some of you got a trade here, which is good. I say that we're more likely going to touch this level again or at least continue moving up, so... Again, we need to be a little bit more aggressive with this because of the war and stuff. So gold always moves up during times of turmoil. So if it breaks the high here, we'll go long. If we bounce this level, we'll go long. What are the fundamentals saying? Short term, gold is positive 2.5. USD minus 0 0.9, that's good. Medium term, super strong. Long term, super strong. So... Just waiting for any price action that gives us a move to the upside here. Either a break of this high to this high or we bounce off this level here. Simple as that with gold. Gravish pan against the yen. So if we look at the gravish pan against the yen, we have broken to the upside. So I did say yesterday we've got two options. Either it comes down here and moves to the upside or... It just breaks. It seems as though it's just broken. Risk reward though would not be great. So if we went to the high, not even a one to one. I wouldn't say to trade that at all. Was there some news before? It seems like there was on the Greybridge pound. Yet we've had core inflation rate. So inflation's gone from 4.5 to 4.2. So the gravity power is super strong. 
positive 2.7, the yen's minus 2.6. So obviously the greatest pound against the yen is going to be moving to the upside. It's just not far off the high though, so it wouldn't make sense on a one to one. Well, even less than a one to one. Even though it probably is going to hit that level. You're better off waiting for a potential retest if it does happen, but could just move and hit the high here, but that's a risk you, you can take if you really want to, but it's not a one-to-one, -one. doesn't make sense. Odds really aren't even in your favour if you do less than a one-to-one, -one. so I'd wait for the exhaustion, move to the upside, take, uh, take profit uh, 2 3 500 because it's probably going to go and break the high there. Uh, no. Two three five hundred is good. So if it does come back, or even if you can get a better entry on on a lower time frame to one nine three five hundred, then by all means do that. Let's just take a quick look at Bitcoin because it did have a exhaustion, and I'm looking to buy some altcoins. So we are a few days away from the halving. Very nice level of consolidation here. Altcoins had a move to the downside of about 50% from the high, which is awesome. Very nice level here. If you see buy pressure here, I'm going to be in Doge, Shiba, and ETH. So probably going to sell some stocks for this. Yep, very nice level. If you can stop moving to the upside again on all these, and then I will be buying some of these. Let's take a look at this. Yep, super nice level. I like it a lot. Okay, let's carry on. So, bearish point against the USD. So, I did say bearishness. We have seen, in fact, I did say bullishness and then potential bearishness. So, that actually could have been a decent trade on uh, the one hour. Again, I don't think that risk reward would have been great to this level. No, it's not even it's not even worth it. Either. If you can get a one to one, then yeah, fair enough. Potential move to the upside there if you went to now. Completely up to you. It is a counter trend though, because the overall trend is to the downside. The better trend will be. So the better trade will be when we touch this level and then we move to the downside. The greatest pound is a positive 2.7. The USD is a minus 1.2. So it doesn't make sense to move to the upside. If you can get a better trade, though, then that would be a lot better. So if we go to the 15, we've bounced off this level here. We've rejected there. There is a level here. So potentially if this closes bullish, you can maybe get in with a tighter stop loss and you take profit all the way up there. So that's a potential entry for you guys. I'll put it in. If it does close bullish, then you've got a potential move to the upside. If not, it is a very high risk trade though. Positive 3.3 against a minus 2 though. So very much to the upside here. Bullish engulfing candle on the hourly. <clears throat> We've bounced off this level. So it does seem like a very good trade to the upside. It, again, it is a counter trend trade. But there we go. So, Euro USD. This hasn't had views. Not really doing much Euro USD. Not really doing much at all. The Euro is a minus 0 0.3. The USD is a minus 1.9. Not really anything too great there. We're at this level of buy pressure, super, super high level of buy pressure here. As we can see throughout history, it's rejected this level numerous times. So um, I just need to wait for a break or a bounce. But it's really not doing anything. It's not really done much since Friday the 12th when it moved all the way down here. Monday, done nothing. Tuesday, done nothing. Hopefully, it does something Wednesday. So, there we go. Let's go for a little recap. US 100. 
Potential move to the downside today, looking for a rejection of this level here. US 30, looking for a move to the downside, rejection of the downtrend of this four hour level here. Previous buy pressure now becomes sell pressure. And then the main one is gold, looking for a move to the upside as fundamentals are very much to the upside long term and medium term. And with the recent war, and the attack, more likely the goal is going to move to the upside. So those are the main ones. Those are the ones that I most likely get the questions on. If you have any that you want me to go through, let me know. But as of now, we'll just see what happens at 2.30 today. I don't think we have much news. We have core inflation rate for the euro. We have MBA mortgage, Fed beige speak, and net long. TIC flows. No idea what that is, I'm not gonna lie. No idea. So yeah, guys, thank you for joining. Uh Hyperdrive Pauline. There was some more that joined, but they've dropped off. Most people watch the recording anyway. But yeah, guys, I'll see you at 2:30. Take care. Great day. Bye bye.